Uh, my memories of being a student at St Mary's are actually really positive. For the first couple of years, obviously, you're getting into the student life, so the athletic side maybe took, <laughs> took a bit of a back step. Um, but when I actually met up with my coach Craig in January of my first year, so that's 2007, that's when I really took athletics as a, as a serious, actually. It was quite good and we made some really big steps. Uh, I think I won a medal at the uh, British University Indoor Champs and then I won the actual British University Outdoor Champs, which for St Mary's was a, was a big thing. Obviously, all my friends were students at the time. Uh, and from, from then, all my memories were, were actually quite good. I had a few injuries, which brought the, brought the uh, attitude down a bit and brought the, brought the negativity a little, little bit. But apart from that, everything went well. I actually studied uh, sports science at St Mary's, which was, it was quite good. Uh, sometimes I knew a little bit too much about my sport. I uh, <laughs> sort, of sort of tested my own confidence and my own nutrition plan, which was, which was really good. I got an insight of sort of what the sports nutritionist would maybe, maybe think about an athlete, and I could sort of input that myself di directly into my, into my life, which was, which was a really big positive. Uh, well, I actually came to St Mary's for the first time a couple of years before I came to study. And the campus life and, and the actual setup of the university was exactly the reason why I came here. It's, it's a small university, it's got this sort of family atmosphere, so it, everyone kind of knows everyone's business, which sometimes isn't good. But when you're doing well in sport and you can see your friends like, doing well in the rugby, literally in the middle of the campus, it, that, that kind of atmosphere, I don't think is kind of replicated by many universities in the country. Yeah, it's quite tough at times to balance your, your training and, and your studies, obviously because students are notorious for sort of maybe being just doing things at the last minute and obviously if I'm training at the same time and I'm tired and that last minute I'm feeling like I need to go to sleep, I'm obviously going to struggle getting, getting my work in. But the, the staff here have really been good. I, I remember John Goodwin probably helped me the most and Anthony Lockyer at most at, at, at important times. Understanding that I've obviously got other targets in my life at the same time and I actually managed to split my last year. Um, I was one of the first people to do it as far as, far as the athlete group is concerned and that really helped me just sort of, like, like you said, get that balance between trying to do well in studies and do well in my sport. Yeah, yeah when I was younger I did almost, <laughs> almost every, th every sport you could, you could name from rugby to even hockey, tennis, badminton, absolutely everything. Um, I did martial arts for a long time, I did karate for about 11 years. So literally until I was about 15, 16, I didn't know what I really wanted to be within sport. I was just possibly the most competitive kid you'd ever meet. And I, I think I'm the same now. I always want to win every race I do, or I want to win at everything. I'm playing Scrabble with my girlfriend, I, and I want to beat her at Scrabble. It's just it's the attitude I've got. But yeah, I didn't choose athletics until I was about 14 or 15. I really don't know. It's not, <laughs> it's not the easiest of sports to do, and it's... It's probably full of more negatives than positives. You, you train sort of every day of the week and you maybe race for about two minutes of that week. So you're feeling bad every week, <laughs> every week, all day until that sort of race day, only if you do well. So it's, not, it's definitely not one of the easiest sports to do, but I, that's probably why I chose it. It's, it's such a challenge. It's so individual. It, there's no pressure on anyone else but me. I'm the person on that line. If I don't run well, I, I don't qualify for the Olympics. If I do run well, I do. It's that, it's that sort of pressure that, that drives me. Yeah, so I, I ran the qualifying time this year, um, multiple times, four times actually, and I won the British championship, Championships this year, so the second year running. So yeah, I've qualified for, for London this year, and it's, it's, it's the big one, it's the one that everyone's talking about. People that aren't even involved in sport are really interested in what's going to happen in London. And my aim at the moment, just to take one race at a time, I would, I would love to get in that final, so I can race three times in front of a home crowd in London. And I think that sort of that sort of support from the crowd, the support from my family, actually being in the stand for almost the first time ever, hopefully will uh, mean I do well in the final. So, so <laughs> St Mary's have, have supported me sort of endlessly, literally since I came to the university, providing Co Craig as a coach and a mental coach behind Mick Woods and those two have worked sort of like almost tirelessly for the last four or five years trying to get athletes to their best. The scholarships that I, I received after my first year. Obviously, when I came here as a, as a student, I wasn't that good at athletics. So I didn't qualify for a scholarship. And you could only apply in your first year for a scholarship. 
but luckily with the help of Andrew Reece Smith and Dick Fisher that actually supplied me with a scholarship my second year to help me with training. And just the fact that the facilities are amazing, we've got sort of physio and massage on tap, we've got a brand new sports centre, it's just been built recently, opened by Sebastian Co, or Lord Sebastian Co. And things like that, there's a constant effort from the people at the top in, a, in the university that are trying to help us who are kind of at the bottom of the university. And it's, it's that family atmosphere which is really good. My, my target when I first started athletics was to be the best in the world, literally to be the best in the world, and that hasn't changed at all. Um, I'm a little bit closer <laughs> than I was back then, that's probably the only thing that's changed, but um, I'm so competitive and I'll never stop until I've done what I want to do, so the target for me is to become the best in the world. So it's, it's not an easy, not, no mean feat, but I'm going to give it a go. It's quite weird. I haven't got one of these sporting idols or sporting sort of inspirations. I was, I've always said in every interview, my, my dad is my, is my idol, is my inspiration. He came, he came to Britain when he was very young, came about 13, and he had literally nothing, sort of no grades, no sort of money or anything. And he worked really hard to, to get his degree, get his grades, to get a good job. And now he's got, he's got obviously, I say, good-looking family. And <laughs> like things like that, like, things like that inspire me more, knowing that you can go from not having a lot at all to hopefully well, having a very happy life and having quite, quite a lot around you. So that's, that's my inspiration.